welcome back once again in this part we will start working for prototyping so first I'm gonna open a new iPhone X project so that we can start from the uh, from the basic and this is our so this is our new iPhone X project and let me resize this one so that we can have the perfect size all right so first I'm gonna change the name we can say uh, I can say home for the name of this artboard and first we need to have add some button then uh, we need to add some design so that we can understand that how exactly the prototype work so if you want to move from artboard 1 to artboard 2 or if you can say page 1 to page 2 then we need to take help of prototype that we usually do in our mobile application when we click on a particular topic topic or particular button we move to a new page so first I'm gonna add one more artboard here click on this artboard and here you go so we have two artboard right now and I'm sorry we don't need to have three artboard now I guess two artboard is enough for now so this one and this one I'm gonna change the name to paste one all right so now we have two paste and we will do prototyping in between these two pages all right so first i'm gonna design this space so first uh let me add a background color for this entire artboard all right i'm just gonna choose some random color you can choose any color whatever you want and I'm gonna do this gradient this way right after that I'm gonna add uh, one okay so let me add our uh, ellipse here so I'm gonna add a ellipse here and design our circle and I'm gonna choose the height and weight same 104 so add our background color for this one or we can add all right so this one is here and we can add a uh, two button or three button here so let me add one rectangle here and so i'm gonna increase the size of this rectangle and i'm gonna change it change the background color of this one So I can change this color to this color. All right, and I'm gonna add a border by dragging this dot. So now it looks uh, pretty good, not bad at all. So what can I do? I can simply uh, drag it here, and then, as I shown you in the basic part, we can. So I'm gonna click on this ellipse, and then I can say here, bring to front so now it comes to the front part so it looks quite good and in here i'm gonna add a rectangle i'm gonna take a rectangle and add a input field so basically we are designing a we are designing a login part we can say the login uh, ui ui space and in here we can add a border so add border two and I'm gonna add the border dash here at 5 and of course we need to change the color so we are gonna change the color of the border this color okay so it looks pretty good not bad so in the center we can have a text and we can say here email so we can add email and of course we need to change the text size so add it to 25 and change the text style we can say arial block and drag it to center all right so now we need to have we can simply make them a group i'm talking about this rectangle and this email field so how can we do this thing i'm gonna select this one here so this rectangle and this text and this these two things we need to do this thing and this text okay rectangle and text now I'm gonna make them a group so press command G 
once they are grouped we can make them now we need to select the group and we can simply so this is the group and we can use the repeat grid and then we can duplicate it one more time once we are done then ungroup the grid and we can change the text to password we can say password so it looks uh, quite good we can drag it to center all right so now in here i want to have a button and we can, we're gonna say sign in or login or or we can say registration or sign up so first i'm gonna take a rectangle here and we can say uh, we can add two button on a horizontal way so the first one this one and we can change the color we can add some thing like this one and first i'm gonna change the border radius here so add a border radius 20 and it looks quite good i'm gonna add a text here and i can say I can say sign in and we need to decrease the text size it's not the perfect size for this button and I'm gonna change it to 17 uh, I'm sorry it has become 175 I should add here 17 all right so we can have this one here and now again I'm gonna make them a group so that we can make it duplicate so command G and then click on refit grid and duplicate this one and I can add it in here this way and now ungroup this one and then change the text to sign off so the black color is not looking good here I'm gonna change the text color for this part on and it is gonna be a white color and then we can write this one and let me run this one if I'm gonna run this one then it looks this so it looks pretty good all right so this is our home and this is our this one so in here we can add an icon here so that it looks more good and uh, we have uh, this is not the part this is not the option to add icon so we have a plugin called icon for design if you haven't installed this plugin yet you can simply install this plugin by going to this way so many can click on this uh, development I'm sorry so you can see the option called discover plugins so you just need to go there and you can simply browse the plugin and in here search icon for plugin that I'm using currently this one and you will see the option is going to come up and then you will have to install it. It's the basic process. All right. So I have this one and I can say here. Image. Let's see if we have any sort of icon related to this image. Or we can say profile here. Uh, profile for profile. We don't have any good. All right. So we can add. So I found a good icon here. And I'm gonna choose this one. I can select this one, then click on it, and it is gonna come next to this one. All right, so it looks pretty good. I'm just adding a icon so that it looks good. Nothing else. If you don't want to add this thing, then you can skip it. But you should add it as I am teaching you, and you can do this de design and you can practice. So now, if I run it, then it will look good and so now before moving to the prototype part we need to i'm gonna add few designs for this one as well so i want to have the same background color for this one okay so how can we get the same background color there is two ways one is either i can go here and copy the color code or another way and another way is that we can make a color asset so i'm gonna select the the artboard and right click so and right click so this is not gonna come here what is happening here so we can easily right click this one but what happened to this one okay so now we can add color add color to assets so click on this color to assets now go to the asset directory 
and you will get all the color asset all the colors that we have inside this one okay because what i did basically basically i selected this artboard and then i right click and then i added the color okay to the asset therefore whatever color we have inside this artboard that we use for our button for our background for our circle text all the colors have been added under this colors directory and we need this color for this one so now i'm gonna select this one it has become the same color all right now we can add few design here and oh, let me show you when we do this thing and so this is our sign in page this is our sign in page and so let's say instead of designing this thing we can have a sign up page related to this one we will just change the thing or i guess it will become a bit confusing for you so better design a different things so i'm gonna add uh, some random design here nothing special i'm gonna select i'm sorry i'm gonna add our design here so at 30 and i can say here you can add a circle here so before that i'm gonna add a background color so add a background color just over here and then i'm gonna add a ellipse here so add a ellipse here and then double click this ellipse and make a design here and drag this one here so we can drag this one here and i can i'm gonna drag it a bit more all right so if i want to can change the color of this one it's like kind of sun i can say or what we can say so this is our main option here the home page like the page one that i'm gonna show you and in here we can have a button we can add a back button right after that so that we can move to this home page okay so we can have a home page here we can have a button so i'm gonna add a button over here and i'm gonna add border radius for this button so we add 20 and change the color of this button I'm gonna choose I'm sorry we need to add the color just over here or we can simply choose the same color okay we already have this one here so I'm gonna select this one and click on it here you go we have this color and I'm gonna increase the size and I'm gonna say here back okay so this one is going to be our back button okay so first let me show you how the prototype is work so now we have two screen so let me sh uh, add one more screen so that it looks good so this one is going to be our home i'm gonna change the name here so i'm gonna change the name of the artboard so this one is going to be home and we can say this one is for our sign in sign in and i'm gonna duplicate this one okay so i'm gonna press command d and we got now we have three and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna change the name to sign off all right and this is what we have okay and for the sign off button i'm gonna change the button color not this one what about this one okay we can choose this color for this uh, sign up so it looks pretty good so we have three screen now and now we can easily do prototyping from this space to this space so i'm going to stop this video right here and we will do our prototype in the next lecture see you guys in the next lecture bye bye